The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. So this is the first proper recorded and edited video for IGR Productions for 2023. Well, yeah, video because I already did an audio uh, for the Intrepid podcast. Uh, do check it out. I'll also reference to that later on. But, man, what a January. Perfect Spanish. <laughs> 200 years. Hi, welcome back to the channel. And I know this is cringy saying this, but might as well. If this is your first time, I'm Intrepid Ian Rignon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And on this channel, we do mostly commentary stuff with a bit of uh, reaction and review to stuff that's relevant to me and interesting to talk about. Now, before we begin, uh, some channel and platform updates. First off, a few videos back, I announced that I'm reformatting the Intrepid show and I thought that I would make it a bullet point taglish script format and reserve my full English writing skills for my other program called The Intrepid Podcast. And you can check it out here on YouTube and it's also on Spotify. The links to that are in the description below. And that's what I'm doing now. So with that said, welcome to the very first episode of The Intrepid Show in 2023. You might be wondering, why only now? Bakit February lang? Because as I mentioned in the latest episode of the Intepid podcast, I am uh, considering January as uh, the extension of Christmas. And Christmas tide ends on the 2nd of February. That's 40 days after Christmas. And basically, uh, it's, it's basically the commemoration of the presentation of Jesus in the temple and the purification of Our Lady. So, uh, uh we know this as Candelaria, and basically, it just came and gone. Today is the 5th of February, uh, 4th rather, 4th of February, 2023, the Sunday before Septuagesima. So, uh, just like that, we're transitioning from Christmas to Lent that easily. So, um, as, especially if you're... Uh, if you're more of the tradition minded or uh you follow the old uh old format of uh the mass so that's that now uh yeah what a january uh ang daming nangyari ang daming ano pwedeng pag-usapan but it's I, I have so little time and i just have to um put this out para Matanggal na siya sa isip ko because I'm honestly burnt out with all the with all the stuff that I've been hearing for uh, the longest time. So uh, I just wanted to take this off my chest uh, para na rin makabawas din sa burnout ko and uh, the sa capacity ng utak ko. If you haven't noticed in my previous videos, I've been more open about my own mental health. Uh, and the system here in our country is a little bit, uh, so to speak, uh, not that optimal at this point. So, yun lang naman. Well, uh, I have dealt with uh, narcissism in my previous brood band, in one of my previous brood banters. And uh, actually, uh, I think this is a unifying factor wherever you are in the political, cultural, and uh, social spectrum uh, in the Philippine uh, in the Philippine setting. Kasi marami talaga ang uh, medyo nagtataka why do these people still exist? And speaking of brood banter, uh, this I, I'm just recording this after a late breakfast. Pinapugugo lang sarili ko after this, I'll cycle kaya naka 
ano na rin ako, naka-drive it na rin ako. I just wanted to put this out there para lang din, ano, para lang din, hindi puro brood banter ang, ang ano ko, ang video ko sa channel. So, tara, kape tayo. Anyway, ah, uh, yun nga. Uh, <laughs> ang dami nangyari, ah, uh, As you may have noticed, uh, as you may have noted, ano, uh, nandun ako sa overbreak, yung coffee shop ni Dudut. Um, parang nag, ano siya, nag-release na siya ng video nung parang, uh, parang pitch niya sa original, ano, uh, the original Trinity of Team Payaman, Kong TV, Boss King, and then Junie Boy. Pero, yun nga, parang it's a comic video. Pero, uh, <laughs> hindi ko inasahan na nag-cameo ako dun kasi, Uh, during that one time na nandun si Dudut, eh, kasama niya yung parang yung cameraman niya. I'm not sure kung ano yon yung kapatid ni Boss King, who is also his co-owner co-own, co-or and COO, since CEO si, ano, si Dudut. But, either way, shoutout sa kanya. I'll uh, promise ko sa kanya na i-release ko yung video niya. So, uh, I just have to uh, think about how to, ano, how to present it. Kasi, Um, medyo ko lang ko lang yon uh, so means basically it's gonna be uh, talking heads and ano talking heads and the, the interview itself uh, baka nga after this ano ko uh, ire-record ko rin siya so wish me luck anyway ang dami kong pasakali eh. sorry mga kababayan <laughs> ang dami lang talaga nangyari anyway so uh, narcissism so a lot of uh, a lot of things happened in January that Uh, is basically uh, centered on narcissism. And uh, honestly, it's just uh, it's just a little bit um, concerning na prevalent to uh, sa, lipunan, sa lipunan natin and even the even the big guys or even the uh, the people whom I consider as uh, the uh, the better people Uh, the better con- uh, creators here on YouTube are falling a little bit close to that. I'll deal with that later on. But if you may notice in the previous ano, in the previous uh, videos that I had, uh, I talked about uh, narcissism and uh, the importance of nuance. So, uh, parang part two na to, pero bahala na. Uh, kasi narcissism is... Uh, is a very uh, dangerous uh, concept or a very a very dangerous uh, thing to even uh, to even think about and you would um, you would never i think ang isa sa mga no isa sa mga uh, parang signs na narcissist ang isang tao eh uh, dinedeny nila na narcissist sila and yet they um, and yet they always talk about themselves and all that shit even i can be susceptible to that Everyone, everyone is actually. Uh, kaya lang, uh, we, ang ang maganda lang sa atin lah sa atin kasi we always have uh, we can always have checks and balances within ourselves. Uh, eh, or uh, in other cases, eh, sa ibang tao. And uh, yeah, it's just um, it's. You know, and dami lang talaga narcissists na nakita natin sa social media. It's just uh, contributing to my burnout na why do you even talk about yourselves? Can you just not shut the bloody hell up and uh, and reflect and discern whatever you're saying? I'm struggling, okay? I'm struggling to even do that. But I just wanted to call out na we're all in this together. Okay, uh, whatever you're uh, trying to do, don't even think of, uh, don't think, even think about yourself. I'm putting this video out kasi gusto ko rin makatulong sa mga, uh, hindi lang sa mga viewers ko, pero sa uh, lahat ng, sa ibang tao na rin, na, you know, it's not just about, ano, it's not just about who you are or what you, uh, what you really do in life. Whether it's work, whether it's uh, whether your work is uh, the typical run off the mill nine to five stuff like I'm uh, like I'm having, and 
or, or ano or uh, something that involves your uh, your passion or something that you really love so uh, give everyone some grace on uh, on doing what they do but at the same time uh, always reflect na always reflect that you're not ano you're uh not everything revolves around you so uh that's one lesson that i have learned last month uh not personally pero i'm also reflecting on that and considering that it's coming up to lent it's about that it's about time and i'll deal with that or i'll tackle that later on on this episode we have to move forward and we know that uh the last, I mean, the first few weeks of January, we are mourning for the death of Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. But at the same time, some sectors of the Catholic Church are mourning so profoundly that uh, they are uh, they are uh, uh, telling the current Pope, who is still alive, to uh, might as well sod off as well. Uh, and honestly, I'm just a little bit uh, con- uh, disappointed with that. I'll deal with that later. Pero uh, it also uh, it also uh, reminded me of this one uh, this one line that Nico David always says whenever he's uh, dealing with uh, dealing with people who are not really uh, doing what uh, doing good. Uh, online and offline, and that is to not wish anyone a bad life. Wish not, uh, 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 wish not anyone a bad life, or uh, wish no one a bad life. Yun ang lagi niya sabi. It's easier said than done. Okay, it's easier said than done. Uh, I can, I can uh, basically, you know, I can basically uh, vouch for myself that it's easier said than done. Pero I'm. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I struggle with this, of course. And yun nga, uh, it's a tagline for those who are not aligned to him. And uh, I can basically, you know, I can basically reflect on this and I have to go to confession for this as, as well. Na ganun din ang ano ko, ganun din ang naging uh, struggle ko kay Pope Francis. Okay? It's been 10 years uh, since he was elected to the papacy. A lot of bad stuff happened really uh in his pontificate there are also a lot of good ones kaya lang kasi there's this uh facebook post by uh kuya kaloy palad he's a he's a church commentator and a filipino church commentator and uh i honestly was you know, moved by it kasi uh you know i'm struggling uh, really hard on um, appreciating the Pope and what he does, it's just that uh, the way that he uh, the way that he uh, has done things really you know really hits uh, so hard to those who uh, are trying to uh, build up what Benedict has uh, uh, created. So, siempre there's this ano, there is this uh, sense of uh, mistrust, and I really can't blame those people. It's just that sometimes uh, the uh, since I was uh, raised uh, or I namulat ako sa Ratzingerian era or the Ratzingerian papacy that's basically Pope Benedict's papacy syempre uh, nagdududa talaga ako sa uh, the way uh, Pope Francis does things it doesn't mean that he's no uh, I don't consider him as the Pope I still pray for him of course it's just that it's really concerning and uh, tawag dito Doon pa lang sa tradisyonis custodes tsaka sa Pachamama incident. And even the dubia, even uh, even um, the dubia on Amores Laetitia, talagang 
marami ang ano, marami talaga ang nawalan ng tiwala sa Santo Papa. And it's just ano eh, it's just uh pushing a lot of Catholics away. And yun nga, uh I'm really disappointed. But it's not ano eh, it's not uh something that you should be too disappointed that you're gonna uh, you're gonna have to uh say that you're uh that that the papacy is vacant or all that shit. No. That is not how you should respond. I uh it's bet it's good that you are calling out uh people for the bad things or the concerning things that uh they have done. Kaya lang uh going beyond that is a little bit concerning. And uh I guess what I can ano uh, what I can uh say is that uh in a church that has uh Taylor Marshall and Peter Kwasniewski uh while I respect those two guys kaya lang kasi minsan overboard na rin sila it's better for Catholics to uh look up to uh Matt Frad and Michael Lofton Matt Frad is the uh is the presenter of the podcast Pints with Aquinas while Michael Lofton uh presents Reason and Theology now uh Napanood ko yung ano yung uh, interview ni ano ni Matt Frad kay Michael Lofton sa Pints with Aquinas and I I was basically moved with his story kasi uh, I would link in the description below yung ano yung 3 uh, hour long podcast ni ano ni Matt Frad sa ano sa Pints with Aquinas kung saan naging guest niya si ano si Michael Lofton and uh the TLDR version is that Michael Lofton was a, was once a Protestant. He was married to a Catholic. Once, kaya lang, uh, he's trying to get it, un- I mean, uh, the, the woman is uh, pushing for it to be annulled kasi hindi na, parang, uh, sabihin na lang natin na, ano, na cafeteria Catholic yung unang asawa ni Michael Lofton and uh, uh, dahil doon in he was pushed away from the Catholic Church. He became an Orthodox for, for a moment. And then he returned as an Eastern Catholic with uh, his new wife and kids. Uh, and it's a happy marriage and family for him. So I'm, I know, uh, Michael Lofton, uh, I'm happy for you for that. And thank you very much for your, uh, for that interview you had with Matt. So cheers. Anyway, I now understand why uh, uh, Michael Lofton is a bit restrained with the anti-Francis trans. And uh, it also shows, because even in our, ano, in our own context, in the Philippine context, especially in the uh, Filipino TLM movement, it's more uh, focused on... Uh, on, uh, ano eh, on um, ayun? It's more focused on uh yun, consolidating uh, the 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 challenge is to either consolidate or uh um or diversify kasi na ano ka lang ha napapansin ko lang din kasi sa mga ano sa mga uh, trad movements dito sa uh, especially in Metro Manila the northern uh the northern trad folks are having a having a bit of a having a bit of a struggle with uh with their own movements in business supportahan nila yung TLM movement ng isang budding ano ng isang budding uh group budding group sa kalapit na diocese <laughs> parang inaakusahan pa sila na ano uh, uh divide nila yung ano eh, yung uh, mga mass goers nila when it should be um it should be celebrated as a multi- as a as an act of multiplication sa south 
Ang Intrepid HQ na uh, we're in the southern suburbs of Metro Manila. Napansin ko sa southern sa southern PLM movement, sobrang chill lang. Okay? I've known uh the I've known the people involved in the no in the southern uh southern Manila TLM movement. Sobrang chill lang talaga nila. And uh I really understand the frustration that they are uh they uh, that they are um experiencing with their northern brethren kasi doon talaga sobrang tense eh. dito chill lang and uh, wala silang pakialam kung ano kung may yung mga nag nagsisimba eh um uh, nagsisimba eh dito sa simbahan na to or doon sa kabilang ano sa kabilang community it's never ano it's never uh, an issue for them although ano uh, although they they it presents uh, some challenges of course kaya lang talagang uh, I'm I'm seeing a divide kasi or uh, I'm seeing a difference kasi uh, in the community and it's just it's just sad at may nakita akong Facebook post ng isang pare na nag-offer ng TLM at yun din ang napansin niya imbis na ano imbis na suportahan nila ang isa't isa uh, nagbabang hindi mas nagbabang yan pero hindi nagkakasundo especially on which uh, which rubrics to uh, to follow dahil yung iba yung 1962 missile uh, some extreme folks wanted the pre-1955 now to give you a context the pre-1955 is basically uh, the same as the 1962 it's just that uh, iba yung uh, na, na binago kasi nung 1955 yung uh, rubrics and uh, liturgical um uh, yung liturgy ng uh, Semana Santa. Yun lang naman yung pinaka difference noon eh. So everything beyond 1955, yung iba sa kanila, uh, everything beyond 1955, we're not gonna ano, we're not gonna offer it. We're gonna offer pre-1955. And uh it's really concerning. I'm I'm definitely ano, I'm definitely uh, I'm de- I'm definitely I my head's really ano my head's really spinning uh sumasakit lang talaga ang ulo ko sa ano sa <laughs> nangyayari sa kanila kasi this shouldn't be happening and this is the reason why sometimes uh uh i'm not regretting the decision to ano to uh dissociate myself uh with uh, the TLA movement kasi yun nga eh, hindi sila magkasundo eh I really love those guys. I really love the way that they uh, that they are promoting uh, the uh, the old form of the of the mass. Wala akong ano dun eh. Wala akong wala akong kahit anong ano masamang tinapay sa kanila. I I promise you. I promise you mga kababayan, hindi talaga ako ano, hindi talaga ako wala talaga akong ano masamang tinapay sa kanila. I would uh, I would definitely go to uh, their masses. Ang pinakamalapit lang sa sa akin dito to, uh, at this point of at this point in the video is sa San Beda at pinadya ko na yan from Intrepid HQ uh, nagbike ako papuntang San Beda kaya ko na kaya I can definitely you know I can definitely vouch for the ano I can definitely vouch for the uh, the communities uh, that offer the TLM it's just that they just have to get their acts acts together kasi wala eh uh, kung sa ibang bansa nag yumayabong dito hindi eh I, and I don't know why so yun lang uh, I hope it's ito I hope I'm making my point across now naka 23 minutes na tayo dito sa video na to and uh, I really don't intend to have this uh, very long pero Nandito na tayo eh. <laughs> so, um, another thing, actually, meron na akong, meron ako isang topic din dito, pero I might as well uh, use this as a, uh, tayo ito, as part of my next episode of the Intrepid Podcast. So, uh, wag na lang. Doon na tayo sa medyo pressing issue outside uh, the Catholic Church. So, at least, ano, 
uh, may ina na tayo. So, kamakailan, there was this beef between Nico David and Attorney Rani Libayan. I'm very much torn with uh, with this uh, with this thing kasi uh, naging contact ko na si Nico David and I I'm very much ano I'm very much uh, I very much respect what Attorney Libayan is doing kasi bukod sa abogado siya he's taking his time to uh, to tackle the legal system or the Philippine legal system uh, to the masses for free so ang nag, nag um, to make it eh, to ano uh, the TLDR version is that uh, naging kliyente kasi ni Nico da, ni ano ni Attorney Libayan si Nico David sa kanyang uh, kaso la sa kasong sinampas sa kanya laban eh na sa, sa kasong sinampas sa kanya ni ano ni Mahagago at ni Jona uh, Jona rin sa Hob I already made a video about that I sang digad digadangkan sin fry uh, since uh, nanalo si Nico David doon and rightfully so that he needs to win, uh, and he that he deserves that win and uh, the thing is uh, after that uh, Nico David has been a little bit cocky after that and uh, Sir Nico pasensya na ha uh, I respect what you do I respect what Attorney Libayan does wala akong masamang tinapay sa inyong dalawa it's just that I'm very much concerned with uh with the style that you're doing right now na ano na yun nga. So I just wanted to say makababayan that I'm not taking any any bloody side on this kasi uh Nico David is a very good contact of mine as I said despite his unorthodox way of uh, being intellectually engaged. Given that his way of being nosy and noisy uh, is really concerning. And the reason why is that, I don't know, I may be thinking he's becoming cynical, pero, uh, but I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm happy to be proven wrong, that's for sure. I'm, I'm thinking he's becoming cynical. Naintindihan ko. Uh, dahil nga sa mga nangyayari sa buhay niya. But the thing is, uh, the thing about the, uh, the thing about trend jacking is that uh, you win some, you lose some. And uh, the legal win that uh, he had with uh, Makagago and Jona made him cocky. Talagang after that, eh, uh, ginawa na niyang, ano, ginawa na niyang, uh, I don't know. Ginawa na niyang uh, free pass yun para ano para gawin yung dapat yung gawin. Although he's a little bit cautious now, uh, kaya lang it's not enough for Attorney Libayan. So he really did took the took the W and walked the walked away. But then again, he's going overboard. Kaya uh, reflecting on what he said, what he always says. Uh, to wish no one a bad life. Yes, wish no one a bad life. That's uh, no, uh, that's common sense. But the thing is, aside from that, aside from wishing, uh, uh, wishing anyone a good life and wishing no one none, or uh, wishing no one a bad one, we should become better. We should become better men. We should become better persons uh, with what we have what we have uh, experienced uh, pretty sure na i'm not yet in that stage i'm pretty sure nico david is not yet on that stage i'm not i'm even doubting attorney levine is still in that stage but we still try to become better men and uh man i I still would uh, no, I still would watch your videos, your live streams, Nico David, pero I'm because of what has happened, I might have to take it with a grain of salt. Yun lang naman yung sa akin. And I would also do the same to Attorney Libayan kasi his reputation precedes him. He's a trial lawyer, he has a lot of things. Uh, 
and I'm and I'm and I'm thinking and I think ano uh, uh, alam na to na lahat uh, he is basically um, Benjamin Magalong's son-in-law uh, the mayor of Baguio City that is so uh, that's that so uh, yun lang naman yung ano ko yun lang naman yung alam ko sa kanya his reputation precedes him but given that I do notice that he's using his uh, profession as a, as an excuse to be a smug I get it na ano I get it that uh, he needs to ano he needs to uh, uh, he needs to uh, be a smug to ano uh, to get his point across but is it even necessary is it even necessary kasi I do have friends and contacts who are lawyers. My future in-laws are lawyers themselves, and my and the mother superior has worked with lawyers when he was when she was a bachelorette. Nung, nung dalaga pa siya. And um, they have they have encountered uh, lawyers who are not really you know not really assholes, pero uh, very who are very much you know so professional that they uh that they are uh full of themselves and i guess you know and i guess uh in his you know in one of his live streams attorney libayan just lost it he just lost it uh in one of his videos and he basically contradicted what he said that when uh when emotions are high Uh, rationality or um, intelligence is low. And, uh, kumbaga, it's just ironic na nangyari yun. Attorney Libayan, sir, I am very, ano, I'm very, uh, not really disappointed, but I'm very, uh, concerned, I'm also concerned with your own, ano, with your own, uh, with your own, uh, shtick in this, ano, in this, uh, YouTube scene. Because, I know that you're doing, you know, you're doing ser- a service to the nation by explaining the letter of the law. But I do also hope that you're also uh, thinking about the spirit of it. Yun lang naman yung sa akin. Kasi, well, the legal profession is a mixed bag, it is important to value both letter and spirit. The letter of the law and the spirit of the law. And I'm gonna connect, it, connect this also with Michael Lofton. Kasi, Michael Lofton has experienced it firsthand. Now he's into the letter of the law and then uh, when he realized that maybe, you know, maybe that's that's just unfair to just uh, accuse anyone with the letter of the law or the letter of, uh, 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 of church teachings, but also uh, get into the spirit of the law as well. Kumbaga, uh, mag ano mag ayun nuance importante ang nuance uh, it's good that we know the letter of the law but we also have to temper it with with the spirit of the law uh, i have also uh, learned about this because uh, soon to be mrs intrepid is um uh, is a theologian uh, is a um, is a theologian by ano by uh, uh, by academic degree so uh, she finished theology and talagang uh, pinag pinag-aralan talaga niya to and uh, yun yeah it seems that we should ano we should uh, connect that kasi isolating letter and spirit is a very bad idea yun lang naman yung sa akin so Uh, one la- one last thing about Attorney Libayan uh, on on the side of Attorney Libayan is is if he is using this posi- uh, his profession and clout uh, as a chilling effect. I hope not, and I hope he's uh, he's not gonna go to the dark go on the dark side for this. Because if that's the case, mamamatay ang <laughs> ang intellectual ano ang intellectual uh, ang intellectual genre sa Philippine YouTube scene. It's gonna be nipped in the bud if that's the case. So, what's my take on this? If I am not, ano, if I'm not choosing, or if, if I'm not siding on either one of them. 
the revenge of the YouTube nerds is an absolute failure. Doc Adam is no longer making content at this point due to the lawsuit uh, filed against him. Sana manalo siya, but yeah, uh, he had to lay low because of it. Kuya Jared Gillette, aka Puting Pinoy, uh, who is now uh, establishing X Amon Studios, uh, is also laying low uh, due to coming to terms that he may be autistic. Uh, he did, I know, he did personally told me that he's having those suspicions, and um, I'm happy that he's, you know, that he's, uh, he's doing something about it. Uh, getting assessed and getting diagnosed and uh, being an autistic YouTuber in the Philippine scene yeah that's gonna be you know, that's gonna be nice kaya lang uh, by default or, or by technicality hindi siya Pinoy so yun lang uh, but I hope he does inspire other you know, or that he does uh, uh, spur uh, discussions about neurodiversity in the Philippines uh just as much as I have been trying to. <laughs> so yun lang naman. And also, I am a bit disenchanted with my fellow Thomasian, Paulul. Uh, as well as his, ano, as well as his buddies, the Cancer Squad. Uh, I call them the Cancer Squad. Si, uh, uh, si Jed, si Arf, tsaka si Shara. Uh, yung, ano niya, yung mga kasama niya sa Pampamilya Podcast. Now, I still like the memes and punchlines that they do, especially Paulul sa mga independent sa mga ano niya, independent videos niya. But then again, yun nga, uh medyo ano, medyo uh di ko rin ano, di ko rin ma ano, di ko rin talaga um uh, ma- di mo rin talaga ako masis- di niyo rin talaga ako masisisi na medyo disappointed din ako sa kanya sa ano niya, sa mga uh, perspectives niya bilang isang Tomasino. Maybe that's because I have applied Tomasian values on uh, on at least Paulul kasi uh, siyang alam ko na Tomasino. Pero I guess I guess yung buong cancer squad, ano sila, uh, na sila mga Tomasino. And, uh, he, and maybe all of them have been, uh, have uh, took the same program as I did. So yun lang naman yun. So, uh, ano din, uh, shoutouts lang din sa Cancer Squad, kay Tito Pao, kay Tito Arf, kay Tito Jed, at kay Tita Shara. Uh, guys, uh, you're keep doing what you're doing, kaya lang, kaya, kaya lang talaga, it's not really my cup of coffee, yung ano nyo, yung uh, mga uh, perspectives niyo But, masaya ako na ano kayo, na ginagawa niyo yung ginagawa niyo and I'm still watching Pampamilya Podcast. Okay, so, recommended pa rin yun. Um, to the Cancer Squad, cheers. And, so, who am I, ano? So, who am I um, dealing with? Or, who am I, uh, who am I following now? Or, sino yung mga tao na pwede kong, ano, pwede kong uh, ma-align sa mga usapan? Si, si Kuya Jared, ano, Nandun pa rin siya. Kaya lang kasi I'm trying to ano, I'm trying to give him space because uh, I'm di ko alam baka may melt nagkakaroon siya ng mga meltdowns. He's still trying to uh, to uh, to basically uh, know more about his autism. So talagang uh, I'm giving him that space. So sino yung mga pinapanood ko recently na na nire-recommend ko si, nire-re- nire-recommend ko rin sa inyo aside from the cycling ano from the cycling uh, creators like Ian Howe uh, and the rest of team Apple and the other uh, and the other um, uh, cycling creators si Joe Pring the the Lopez family and all that uh, yung cycling ano yung cycling um, cycling vloggers and cycling creators um, ibang an sila ibang usapan sila talagang uh, They're not just inspir- inspiration, parang pampalipas oras lang din kasi gusto ko rin maki- makita kung paano sila, ano, paano sila, <laughs> paano sila pumadyak. So, yun lang naman yun. So, when it comes to intellectual um, creators, halos wala eh. And that's also the same, uh, the same observation of, uh, 
of the two guys that uh, that uh, that create uh, uh, be- the two guys behind Sausawan Podcast, Gerald uh, Comics Man Gerald Dorado and Chris Bacula. So I have watched uh, their two part se- their two part um, special uh, podcast episodes on the on the Libayan David ano the Libayan D- David beef and uh, na ang dami nilang na mention ng mga foreign ano eh ng mga foreign um uh foreign intellectual intellectuals and uh, podcasters katulad ni Joe Rogan ni uh, Jordan Peterson uh sino ba ba iba na na mention nila na ano na, na, yeah i think those are the two guys and then um dun sa ano dun sa premiere um uh, sinigit ko na rin si Bishop Robert Baron si uh, si si Matt Fred Chaka, si Michael Lofton and uh, I think ano eh uh, I can <laughs> I can also ano I can also put uh, comics man and uh, co- comics man and Chris on the on that same ano on that same uh, on that same uh, category kasi podcaster sila and Uh, they're basically thriving on it. So uh, shout out sa inyo, uh, Sir uh, Sir Gerald and Sir Chris. Uh, panoorin niyo yung Sausawan podcast. I would link uh, sa in, in the description below uh, the the two part series or the two part uh, episode or uh, the two part um, topic ab- uh, that they have tackled about uh, Nico David and Attorney Libayan. Uh, I I can definitely tell it's an eye opener. Yun lang masasabi ko. Uh, when it comes to relationships, there's Richard and Mari Carpoon, but medyo ano eh, hindi ko rin, hindi ko rin ano eh, hindi ko rin, hindi mas gusto, pero hindi ko rin talaga uh, trip yung ano nila, yung style nila. It's not my cup of tea, and I'm not even sure if they already have children, but uh, what what I know who has children, uh, uh, said, couple um podcaster couples who I know who has children are the youngs Slater and Chris uh hindi ko na maalala yung ano eh yung podcast nila anong pangalan ng podcast nila pero Slater Young and Chris Uy uh they are they also have uh, their own podcasts and ma- na- nakatuwa din yung relationship nila so uh, they're basically the ano uh, they're basically the best uh the next best thing out there for families who have uh, who have children uh kumbaga kasi yung kay Richard and Maricar talagang okay re- uh, g- relationships in general but wala pa silang experience sa pagiging ano eh sa pagiging mga magulang and this is the ano this is the niche that the youngs are filling so recommended din sila and then you have um some other catholic podcasters like Birds Kaasi who is also working with Halo. Uh, hindi to sponsored ng Halo, ah. Uh, hindi to sponsored ng Halo. Pero I'm pretty sure that he's involved in it, uh, in the Philippine operations of Halo. I'm not even sure if he's the Philippine CEO or something. Basta, um, shout out sa inyo, uh, shout out sa inyo, Sir Burns Kaasi. Um, I know that you're, ano, uh, you're busy with, uh, with Halo, but you also have your own, ano, uh, your own podcast called Unboxing Catholicism. And, uh, yun nga, uh, subscribe na rin kayo sa kanya. Uh, And then there's also Jay Aruga, uh, Jay Arug- of the Jay Aruga show, uh, si JP Santiago. Sir Jay, um, tao dito, I think, na, na ano na din siya eh, na, na in, naging guest na rin yata siya, either ni Comics Man or ni Chris Bacula, but uh, in, dun sa ano nila, sa previous um, separate podcast nila, uh, prior to Sausawan, uh, isa sa kanila ano isa sa kanila na ano naging guest nila si ano si Sir J Sir J Aruga so uh, yun lang naman i think uh, he's also a good ano a good person to ano to uh, to listen to if you're into the podcasting grabe ni lista ko na lahat ng mga ano ng mga alternatives kay Nico David at Attorney Lebayan oh my goodness anyway uh it turns out that this video is very gonna be very long so um baka good luck sa post prod nito but yeah um my perspective on this is that sadly filipino audiences are fanatics not critical thinkers kumbaga 
Filipinos are into the mob mentality and the hive mind, not the independent thinkers. Yung mga uh, uh, nag-iisip na what about is tignan natin to in a different perspective. Hindi eh. Hindi ganun ng mga Pilipino and sadly it's it's uh, the reason why a lot of people who are suspecting to have neurodivergent um neurodivergent conditions uh, such as autism, ADHD, OCD, um uh, OCD uh uh ano ba ba? <laughs> Basta yung triple threat na yon. Uh, bipolar yon, isa pa yon. Uh, they tend to mask their neurodiversity uh, dahil uh, dito, hindi sila tatanggapin ng lipunan dahil ito yung, ano nila, ito yung pananaw nila sa, ano, sa mga bagay-bagay. Eh. And it's sad. It really is. So, I really hope that uh, that conversation would, uh, would continue to thrive. And I do think that in the realm of autism, eh, uh, ganun na, parang unti-unti na nag, ano, nagkakaroon ng ano, nagkakaroon ng uh, conversations but then again uh, a lot of ano, a lot of parents of autistic children need to do more kasi uh, autistic adults exist, yun lang naman uh, nasingit ko pa but when it comes to the intellectual content genre in the Filipino YouTube industry, it has a very long, long way to go I'm pretty sure that uh kak- teto unti-unti lang din ang ano ang ang pagsusulpot ng mga intellectual minded na mga ano mga Filipino creators and uh if that's ano if that's something that I can uh I can prospect myself to be with I've been doing that for three years now <laughs> so yeah uh perhaps di ba mali natin nandun din ako sa sa genre na yon but here's one piece of advice for uh, Nico David and Attorney Libayan get some sleep parang awa niyo na matulog na matulog muna kayo uh, magpahinga kayo get your get yourself uh, get yourselves a few days of uh, not creating ano creating content Alam ko mahirap sa algorithm ninyo and uh, and uh, some and there would be a, a time na hindi kayo ano hindi kayo uh, kikita dahil hindi kayo mag ano mag upload but start with your mental health and then kung ano kung ano man kayo kung ayaw nyo na talagang maging magkaibigan or uh, maging ano, close contacts. At the very least, uh, mag-usap kayo na business level. Na recognize that there has been, uh, there has been uh, differences in, ano, in the way that you do things, especially in this platform. And uh, just agree to disagree. Take, take their respective uh L's and W's and walk away from each other for good. Yun lang naman. So, yun lang naman. That's just my advice. Wala akong masamang tinapay sa inyong dalawa, but I have to, ano, I have to tell this to you because all of us here are grown men. Just, just think about it, okay? Wala akong masamang tinapay sa inyo. In fact, I'm very dis uh, I'm very you know I'm very concerned that this really happened kaya napahaba ang ano ko napahaba ang uh punterya ko sa ganito and honestly I really don't want to but dito na tayo so that's that's just ano that's just disappointing and given that it's coming it's coming up to lent with other liturgical communities doing a three-week head start before Ash Wednesday, Septuagesima na uh, bukas by the time of this recording, or maybe uh, nandun na tayo sa Septuagesima, Sexagesima, Quinquagesima, kapag na-upload ko na to, it is best to talk about what seems to be the ubiquitous problem of the lack of philosophical discourse in the Philippine social media scene, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina. Now, 
yeah, it's just ano. There's really a lack of it. There's an there's an there's a demand for it, and yet, kulang tayo. If that's if it's something that I should do. Uh, in this platform, uh, that in the near f- that uh, that I should consider in the near future, so be it. Since wala namang ano, wala pa namang gumagawa nito or kakaunti lang kami na nagiisip na how about ano, how about we disregard our ano, how about we disregard our uh, hive mindset and just ano and just think about it the way as uh, the way it is. Bago pa mag ano tong phone ko kasi I'm recording this on the phone hindi na ako nag microphone din dapat sana gagawin ko but it's gonna take more time magbabike pa ako and uh, do a lot of adulting stuff so to everyone who is thinking critically and uh, to everyone who has uh, who is into philosophical uh, more philosophical content or at the very least eh Um, on a higher intellectual con- uh, intellectual stuff who has been smart shamed for the longest time it's time to rise up get yourselves involved in the social media scene okay lang nasabihan kayo nyo ang marami kayong alam pero alam mo alam nyo <laughs> may meme na para dyan and I'm not gonna ano, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it so Get your lazy ass up. Uh, start saying something na crit- uh, very critical of this of this uh, so- uh, social mindset, and think freely about your ano, think freely about uh, your uh, uh, your perspectives. Be philosophical and uh, on your ano, on your. Uh, on your way of doing things. So, to all of you out there who has been smart shamed, just keep doing the good that you do. Cheers. Anyway, gotta go and um, cycle. Mag-bike na ako. Alam ko, tanghaling tapat, but I don't care. With all that said, this isn't Epidia and Denyon reminding you to, at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other. And as always, thank you for watching. From here in Intrepid HQ, see you next time. Ian out. Magabait na ako.